All right, today we're going to break down a potential deal that could literally change everything we know about artificial intelligence. We are talking about Apple, yeah, the most famously self-reliant company on the planet, possibly teaming up with its biggest rival, Google, to supercharge its AI. Okay, let's get into it. And that's really the multi-trillion dollar question, isn't it? I mean, why would a company that built an entire empire on controlling every single piece of its world suddenly even consider letting its arch nemesis into the heart of the iPhone? The answer, it turns out, reveals this massive shift that's happening not just inside Apple, but across the entire check industry. So let's be super clear here. This isn't just some simple partnership. For Apple, this is what you'd call a seismic shift in strategy. It goes against like decades of their core philosophy, the very thing that has defined them from the get-go. And that philosophy has a name, vertical integration. It's this core belief that to make the absolute best products, you have to control everything. The hardware, the software, the services, it all has to live inside Apple's famous walled garden. And you know what? This approach gave them insane control over the user experience, and of course, privacy. And for the longest time, this worked for their AI too. They just built their own tools, their own models, all designed to fit perfectly within that privacy-first brand. But the world of AI has completely exploded, and what used to be a major strength is now turning out to be a huge challenge. So let's get to the heart of the problem. Apple is facing a really serious AI dilemma. I mean, despite having all the money in the world, they are falling behind in this new generative AI race, and the pressure is coming at them from every direction. This really lays out the conflict perfectly. On one side, you've got the classic Apple ideal, this meticulous in-house development with total control over everything. But on the other side, you've got the harsh new reality. They're lagging behind rivals like Microsoft and Amazon, they're bogged down with internal delays, and the public pressure to deliver something amazing is just immense. Just think about this for a second. Apple's big, ambitious plan for a next-gen Siri was supposed to be ready this year, 2024. Well now, that target has slipped all the way to 2026. In the world of AI, where things move at light speed, a two-year delay is an absolute eternity. And look, this isn't just about deadlines, it's a flat-out war for talent. When a rival like Meta can reportedly steal away a key AI leader with a $200 million package, that just shows you the insane pressure Apple is under to keep its best and brightest. So what's the solution when building it yourself just isn't working fast enough? Well you start looking outside. Apple is now exploring what you could call a hybrid gambit, basically running a contest to see who has the best AI for the job. It's an internal competition, a bake-off, if you will. So in one corner, you've got Linwood, that's their own in-house AI. And in the other corner, you have Glenwood, which is the code name for testing the outside powerhouses, you know, Google's Gemini, Anthropic's Claude, and OpenAI's GPT. But, and this is a huge but, this is not Apple just admitting defeat and outsourcing the whole shebang. They're trying to find a middle ground, a hybrid strategy. They want the raw power of an external model, but they have to have the privacy and control that defines their brand. So the big question is, how on earth do they pull that off? Well, the answer is this really clever piece of tech, Private Cloud Compute, or PCC. Think of it like a super secure private sandbox. Apple can plug Google's powerful Gemini AI into this system, but it all runs on Apple's own servers, powered by their own Mac chips. This lets them use Google's incredible tech while making sure your data never, ever leaves the Apple ecosystem. It's a brilliant way to have their cake and eat it too. But here's the thing. Apple's big pivot isn't happening in a vacuum. It's actually a sign of a much larger trend that is completely reshaping the entire tech industry. The era of every single company trying to build everything themselves. Yeah, that's coming to an end. What we're seeing is a new two-tier ecosystem emerge. So at the very top, you have the AI model providers. These are the companies like Google, OpenAI, and Anthropic who are creating the incredibly complex brains. And then supporting them, you have the infrastructure providers, companies like NVIDIA, TSMC, and Amazon Web Services who are building the power grid, all the chips and cloud servers that these brains need to run on. And of course, whenever you see a massive industry shift like this, a whole new landscape appears. As more and more companies stop trying to build everything from scratch and just start buying the best tools out there, some very clear patterns and investment opportunities start to pop up. So there are really three key areas to watch. First, you've got the semiconductor giants, Nvidia, TSMC, the ones making the specialized chips that AI absolutely devours. 
Second, the cloud providers, like Google and Amazon, who supply the raw computing power. And third, the AI model providers themselves, who are pretty much becoming the new gatekeepers of this whole technology. And just to give you a sense of the scale we're talking about here, just look at the numbers. Global sales for AI chips alone are projected to hit almost $700 billion next year. That isn't just a market, that is the engine driving this entire revolution. Now, it's not all smooth sailing. While the opportunity here is absolutely huge, the road ahead isn't without its risks. This new strategy, especially a deep partnership with Google, is facing some pretty significant roadblocks. First off, you've got regulatory scrutiny. The U.S. government is already suing Google over its search deal with Apple. A deeper AI partnership would be put under an even more powerful microscope, for sure. And the second risk, it's Apple itself. Remember, they still have that internal Linwood team. If they suddenly have a major breakthrough, Apple could easily just delay or even scrap an external deal and go right back to their old ways. But if we just step back and look at the big picture, the core takeaway is this. AI is quickly becoming a fundamental utility, just like electricity was a century ago. And in that new world, the real power and the real profit isn't just in creating the light bulb, it's in building the massive power grid that delivers that electricity to everyone. And that's what makes this whole thing so significant. Apple's move isn't just about trying to save Siri. By potentially integrating Google's AI and running it through its own private cloud system, Apple is essentially helping build out and standardize the AI grid for its nearly 2 billion users. It's a massive validation of this new outsourced model on a truly global scale. And that leaves us with one final and I think crucial question to think about. As this new utility takes shape, it's not just about which phone you use or which app you open. It's about the fundamental infrastructure that's going to power our digital lives from now on. So the question is, who is going to build the grid for your future?